Guys, welcome. <laughs> we are, we're really live. We're really live. This is amazing. Oh my God. It, we're not only are we live, but we survived, which is incredible. So good job. Good job with that, you know. So um, uh, let's see. We're going to be doing a 12 warrior day today. So if you have uh, lighter dumbbells, kettlebells, something like that, that would be great. Um, uh, the um, cardio primer that we're going to be used for, using for our 12 warrior days are going to be those high pulls where we go into the RDLs and up into the upright row as I fall over and not demonstrating it uh, really, really great. So anyway, but um, story of the day. Um, so we've been doing these Aesop's fables uh, uh, this month and it's I haven't been telling them as much during the morning um, because they, they, they feel out of date to a certain degree. But this morning's one was, I thought, kind of interesting because it was about this, um, this cat that is terrorizing these mice that live in this house, all right? And uh, these mice get together and they form a committee and they're like, we got to do something about this cat. Like this cat, like we can't, we can't run around during the day. We can't run around at night. You know, this, this, this cat is just coming for us. And so one of the younger mice said, why don't we put a bell around the cat's neck and then we know when he's coming. And the, the oldest mouse looks at the cat, I'm sorry, looks at the younger mouse and he goes, yeah, that's a really great idea, but who's going to do it? All right. And the moral, the moral of the story is, um, don't come up with a suggestion or say something that you can't back up, all right? Now, I, I feel like that mindset is a little outdated, and I feel like we are much, we're much more free right now to actually say what our, our suggestions and our opinions are, because even if that, that opinion or that suggestion is even like a partial that like works towards something better, then say it, you know, like don't not say something because you're not exactly sure how it'll work. Like we, we, we all should be sharing our ideas together. Here at Training for Warriors, we really like suggestions from you guys, even if it's not possible. Like somebody asked us to put a sink in the back room um, so that we had another hand sanitizer station. That's not possible as far as plumbing in a rental situation is concerned, but still it made us think about, okay, how are we going to do this? How are we going to sanitize hands, you know? So uh, like, I, I, I would suggest maybe not fearing making suggestions, you know, always pick the appropriate time or place, especially in a work environment, you know, but, uh, but still like, yeah, don't, don't let some old mouse shoot you down for your great ideas, right? Don't let, don't get eaten by that cat. Um, guys, we are going to be reintroducing jumping jacks. Oh, I know, I know. Okay, but now if, if you can't do jumping jacks because of you're in an apartment or because you have pain, then what you're going to do is you're just going to do the arm movements when we're doing the arm movements for the first set. For the second set, you're going to do paced out body squats. So you're not going to do 30 squats while we're doing 30 jumping jacks. So that'll be for the second set. Then for the third set, you're going to go back to the arm movements, all right, only. So hopefully that all makes sense, but we're going to be getting back into it. Josh, you want to put some music on? Of course. All right. All right, guys. I'm going to count the first five. Oh my God, I forgot how to do this. You're going to count the second five and go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> nine, ten. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Keep going with the arms, Sarah. Eight, seven, Keep going with the eight, arms. Nine, ten. So just do the arms for these. It's the second set that you'll do squats. Okay, all right. Okay, here we go, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now again, guys, if you're not doing jumping jacks at home, go ahead and do body squats for this set. Don't try to keep up with us, though. Just pace yourself out. Second set, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome, guys. We're going to be going into our last set. Again, if you are not doing jumping jacks at home, 
just follow along with the arm movements. That's fine, okay? Last set. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. So, guys, wave if you can hear me if the music's not too loud. Is that okay? Good, good, good. Okay. Let us go to the ground. Hopefully, you have a mat or a blanket or a pillow. We're going to go into our Cossack stretch. So bring that leg directly out from that hip, rock it back, and bring it forward. We've got a lot more traffic going on outside, guys, so hopefully all the Zoomers can hear me. We're rocking back and forth about 10 times. And then we got a train. We, got, <laughs> we have all, <laughs> we just need a helicopter flying overhead. That would be awesome. Boy, what a different change in energy. Now we're going to lift. We're just going to do five lifts. Between having people in the dojo, warriors in the house, compared to Zoom or YouTube, switching it out to the other leg, rocking back and forth. Nice. Nice. Nine. Just being gentle with those groins, being really gentle with those wrists. Now lift that leg, keeping that glute really engaged. Four. Five. Nice, guys. Okay, we're going to come into this high kneeling position. We're going to bring our hands forward so that you're reaching towards me. And then what you're going to do is you're going to reach out of your arms bringing your shoulder, like really pulling your shoulder blades apart, bring your shoulder blades down to your hips, pull your shoulder blades together at the back, and then up to your ears. So we're doing a full circle that way. Taking it slow, taking it controlled. We're gonna go 10 circles in this direction. Woo, crunchy, crunch, crunch. And then we're gonna go 10 circles in the other direction. Uh, oh man. Really squeezing those glutes. All right guys, so now what I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna have you take your hand and I'm gonna have you touch your opposite shoulder, all right? Take your other hand, grab that elbow, and I want you to pull. Again, I want you to squeeze those glutes at the top. Get that really nice tricep stretch. Ah, wow, that's tight. Oh man, guys, let's switch it out to the other side. So I'm taking this arm, touching the opposite side, and I'm really pulling. All right, guys, let's go ahead and stand it up. And we're gonna start with small little circles, arm circles. And as we go further into this, we're gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger. Getting real big with it. All right, now we're gonna take it the other way. So we're gonna start with the small circles and then we're gonna get bigger and bigger, and bigger. Yeah. Wah! All right. Let's go into this horizontal plane. All right. Now we're gonna go into a vertical plane. Really swinging those arms. Yeah. I wasn't even thinking about the rings, Bob, and tall people. 
<laughs> nice. All right, guys. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to widen out those feet, and we're going to touch opposite toe. So bend it over. Go ahead and give me 10 on each side. All right, now we're going to do a lunge with walk around. So we're going to come into a deep lunge and then I'm going to walk my hands out into this high plank. I'm going to walk my hands back in and then I'm going to rotate. So I'm trying to get that really deep lunge at the bottom. Bring it back in, rotate it away. Go ahead and give me five on each side. Getting those legs nice and warmed up. Getting those shoulders nice and warmed up. I think that was five. All right. All right, guys, so. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go through each one of the exercises in our 12 warrior days to get warmed up, okay? And just making sure that we have the right weight for this. So, for the first thing that we're gonna do is a high pull. My high pull, I come into a deep RDL, and then I'm gonna come up into this upright row. That's a little too heavy. I come up into this upright row and I'm gonna really squeeze my glutes together at the top as I come up onto my toes, all right? So narrow up your feet a little bit more, guys. So coming into this RDL, feel that in the hamstrings and then come up. Really squeeze those glutes at the top, try to pause at the top. Lead with those elbows. As you're doing it, go ahead and give me 10. So this is gonna be our cardio primer. We will always start each round with 10 of these. If you remember in the olden days, the olden days before the pandemic, <laughs> our, our cardio primer used to be sprints outside. So this is a little different. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do is our T-spine push-up. When we're actually doing the warrior days, we'll only do two. I want you to go ahead and give me five right now just to get used, get used to the motion. So if you're doing it from an elevated surface or from the floor, you wanna make sure that you keep those feet together, knees together, everything's on. You're gonna come down to your surface. You're gonna rotate it out. Come down, rotate it out. I'm sorry guys, keep those feet spread apart for stability. Go ahead and give me five on each side. <clears throat> All right. So doing five on each side just to warm up when we're actually in the circuit itself, we're gonna be doing two. And then we're gonna go into our dumbbell um, tricep overhead press. So I'm gonna grab one of my dumbbells or a kettlebell, whichever you, whatever you have, standing straight up, squeezing those glutes. Arms are really extended, coming down, getting that really nice stretch at the back, coming back up, getting that nice stretch. So go ahead and give me five right now. In the circuit itself, we're gonna be doing three of these. Now, the nice thing is, we're gonna go right into our, our um, overhead press. So I'm here, my elbows are in at the bottom, out at the top. Go ahead and give me five of those. Four and five. Nice, okay. So the next, what, next one we have is our rear delt fly. Now, 
If you don't have really light weights for that, that's okay because you're gonna get a lot of work out of this with just using body weight, okay? So I'm gonna come into this hinge position. I'm gonna have my hands or my dumbbells here at the bottom. I'm gonna come directly out from my shoulders at the top and back down. Really squeeze those shoulder blades at the top, guys. I have a slight bend to my elbows as I'm doing this, all right? Nice job, guys. You should feel this in your hamstrings. Go ahead and give me five of those. All right. So next what I have is a 45 degree angle lunge. So I'm gonna step behind and I'm gonna create about a 45 degree angle with that foot behind. I'm gonna come back in. I'm gonna step it out. I'm gonna come back in. Yeah, so really trying to get off access with this, guys. See how where that foot is landing? We're keeping it in tight. You're not taking it, you're not taking a really long stride with this. Now you want to make this harder, you grab a dumbbell. Trying to get about an inch off the ground with that back knee. Trying to stay as upright as possible in that chest. Five on each side. All right, next I have my dumbbell goblet squats. So if you have a dumbbell or kettlebell, fantastic. Again, guys, you can always use a book. We're gonna do, go ahead, let's just do 10 as far as our warm up is concerned. So coming down and up. Really squeeze those glutes at the top. Great job, guys. Getting that depth. So widen up those feet just a little bit, Kyla. There you go. There it is, there it is. Really squeeze at the top. Nine and 10. Awesome. All right, next I have military crunches. So for this, I'm gonna be on the ground. My, my knees are gonna be up the entire time. My arms are gonna be extended overhead. I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna reach through I'm gonna come back down. Now, if you wanna make this harder, you can grab a dumbbell. Just make sure you're keeping those knees up the entire time and those arms are straight. So really try hard to use those abs to pull you forward. <laughs> abs, who needs abs? Ugh. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, guys, 10 of those. All right. <laughs> you got this. All right, next, we're going to go into our calf raises. So for our calf raises, again, if you want to grab two dumbbells on either hand, that's fine. But what we're going to do is you're going to, your stance is going to be a little bit more narrow. You're gonna come all the way up onto those toes. And then I want you to come back. I want you to rock and then come back up again. All right? So get that nice flexion. Yeah. Go ahead and give me 10 of those. Should really feel those calves start to warm up. Guys, and don't forget to squeeze those glutes. If you're having a hard time balancing, just find one spot on the wall to look at as you're doing this. 10 of those, all right. And then, oh, knee grabs. We're back down on the ground again. So for my knee grabs, my legs are out straight, my arms are in tight to my chest, coming forward. Make sure those feet come flat at the ground at the top and back down. Give me 10. Use those shins, guys. Those shins are your friends. And when you're doing this, just have those shoulder blades touch the ground and then come right back up again. Shoulder blades touch the ground and you're back up. Nice. All right, next, we have speed skaters. So guys, for our speed skaters, again, we might be in an environment where we don't wanna make a lot of noise, don't wanna wake up our neighbors. So if that's the case, I'm gonna have you go back into that into that lateral lunge, which is totally fine. 
All right, otherwise you're gonna put a little jump into it and that's what a speed skater is. It's just a little jump, little hop as I fall over. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and give me five on each side. Nice, great job. <laughs> so delicate, Bob. Look at, get, can you get deeper? <laughs> Maybe. Take your time with this, guys. You don't have to rush through it, all right? This is a nice little power move. All right. Then, last but not least, we have our swimmers. So, we're gonna be on our bellies, and then we're gonna reach forward, really splaying out those fingers. We're gonna bring our our um, shoulder blades together at the top, pushing those legs into the ground. I'm gonna come up into a slight cobra position as I do this. Go ahead and give me 10 of those. Nine and 10. Woo! All right. So, the way the 10 warrior days works is we're always going to start with our 10 high pulls and then we're going to go into our two uh, uh, T-spine push-ups and then we're going to do 10 high pulls. Then we're going to do our three dumbbell tricep overhead press, two push-ups and then into our high pulls. So we're always starting with the number, uh, the, the higher number and then we're going back up through, all right? So then when we hit four, it'll be our overhead press. Then we're gonna go into our three dumbbell overhead extension, tricep overhead extensions, two T-spine push-ups, and then our high pulls, okay? So if it gets confusing, just try to follow along with me. Now we're gonna do this for 22 minutes, and I want you to pace yourself. So if you need to take rest, you take rest, and then just jump back in again, okay? So starting the timer. It's 11 per side. Yeah, yeah. So that's a really good question, Kyla just asked. It's like if we're doing um, like the, the two T spine push ups, this is going to be one, and then this is going to be two. Or at the very end, if we're doing the speed skaters, 11 speed skaters, you're doing 11 on each side. But we probably won't be doing those very much because it's going to be so at the, you know, the bottom of the circuit. All right, guys, we're getting ready to go in three two, one with our high pulls. Going into our 10 high pulls, RDL, coming up onto those toes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if you need to, Go to an elevated surface for your T-spine push-ups, or you're gonna do it from the floor. So, rotating, <laughs> rotating, <laughs> rotating, and rotating. Nice. Now I'm going right back into my high pulls again. So in that RDL, coming up, lead with those elbows. Really squeeze those glutes at the top. Get that power out from your legs to help you up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, you're gonna go into your three dumbbell overhead tricep presses, keeping those elbows in tight to your head just three of those, going back into my two T-spine push-ups. Would you doing it wrong, Bob? Oh no. <laughs> it's been a while, right? <sighs> Woo! All right. Now guys, I'm going back into those high pulls again. All right, so if you're ahead of me, what you're gonna do next is your overhead press. 
going to be four overhead press, three dumbbell tricep extensions, two T-spine push-ups, and then the 10 high pulls. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Nice. So four, overhead press, one, two, squeeze those glutes, three, four, upper body burner, coming into the three tricep extensions, two, three, going into my two T-spine push-ups. All right, this time I'm gonna take a little water. Just gonna take a little break. Again, you get to push yourself as fast as you want with this. But just remember, we're doing this for 22 minutes. We're down to, we have about 18 and a half minutes left. All right. Going back into my high pulls. Nice, Kyla's already on her real doubt flies. Try to come out just a little bit more from, yeah. All right, getting those high pulls in. All right, so now I have five rear delt flies. So I'm in this hinge position. I'm coming out to the side and back down. If you have super light dumbbells, awesome. If not, body weight is fine. You're really squeezing those shoulder blades at the top, guys. Take it slower, Sarah. I want you to get a nice pause at the top. Okay. Five. Then I'm going to go back into my overhead press. Doing four overhead press. And then going into my overhead tricep extension. So Bob, at the top, get onto those toes. Yes, toes. There we go. Yeah, you're really squeezing those glutes forward at the top. All right, we did our four overhead press. We're doing our three overhead tricep extension. And then you're going back into your two T-spine push-ups. All right. So guys, if you're ahead of me, the next thing you're going to do is six of the uh, 45 degree angle lunges, okay? So I'm still working on my high pulls because I have to start with my high pulls again. Two, three, four, five, <laughs> eight, nine, 10. All right. Next, guys, we have those 45 degree angle lunges. So I have six on each side. Get deep. Keep that chest upright. Three, four, five. Six. All right, now I'm going into those rear delt flies. Coming out to the side and down. Out to the side and down. Squeeze those shoulder blades, guys. Five of these. Five. 
All right. Next, I have my four overhead press. Squeeze those glutes. Don't forget the power of the glutes. Then I have my three overhead tricep extensions. Nice, Sarah. There you go, Bob. Those look awesome. Guys, two T-spine push-ups. Going back into my high pulls. I'm going to grab some water. Nice, Kyla. Those look beautiful. 10 high pulls, starting again. Nine and ten. All right. So now, guys, I have my ten, I'm sorry, my seven goblet squats. Seven goblet squats. Widening out those feet, coming down, squeeze those glutes at the top. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven. All right. Now I have my 45 degree angle lunges. See that nice angle I have going on here? You should feel really good after those squats. Glute activation. Four. Five. And six. Awesome. All right. So now I have my rear delt flies. Coming into my five rear delt flies, really pull that butt to that back wall. Squeeze those shoulder blades at the top. Four and five. Nice. My four overhead press. How you feel, Bob? Feel good. Good. Feels good to move, doesn't it? Got four of those. And then I got my three overhead tricep extensions. How you feeling, Kyla? <laughs> hey guys, this is Kyla's favorite day. She loves the 12 warrior days. Kyla came to us from another training for warriors. And uh, yeah, this is definitely her favorite. You know why? Because Kyla is a true warrior, that's why. And she regards this as one of the hardest workouts that we do. She still loves it. Yes, she gets to do the 12 warrior days. Rotate. Rotate. Nice. All right. Guys, we're getting up there. So again, if you're ahead of me, next you're going to be going into your eight military crunches. Eight military crunches to start. I'm back at my high pull stage. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I was like, are you doing a turtle? What is that? <laughs> um, do you want to just do knee grabs? Yes. Okay, cool. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> all right, guys, I got my military crunches now. My eight military crunches feet are up the entire time. Arms are overhead, reaching through. Two. Three. <laughs> four. 
Five. You got this, Bob. Seven and eight. Nice. Then I have my seven goblet squats. All right. Squeeze those glutes. Boom. Stay upright. Three, four, five, six, seven. Nice. Yeah, try to keep them together the whole time, Bob. Yeah. There you go, there you go. Take it slower. <laughs> what are you doing? You're only doing... <laughs> Bob, Bob, Bob does his own thing. Bob, Bob, yeah, Bob day. All right, guys, <laughs> sorry, distracted. Ah, 45 degree angles, six on each side. Again, if you're ahead of me, you're going into your five rear delt flights, flies, <laughs> delta flights, what? All right, five rear delt flies coming right out from those shoulders. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. There you go, Sarah. Five. Then going into my overhead press. Four of those. Two, three, four. Going into my tricep extension. Guys, we got eight minutes left. We're doing great. The speed changer for us with these 12 warrior days and why it was so hard to get through this when we were in the dojo and we were sprinting is sprinting takes a lot longer as far as that cardio primer is concerned. Going back into my push-ups. All right, if again, if you're ahead of me, you're gonna be going into your nine calf raises. All right, I'm starting again with my high pulls. Making sure I come up onto those toes. Making sure I squeeze those glutes at the top. Squeezing those glutes at the top is also gonna allow me to pause for a moment. Six, whew, seven, eight, nine, 10. All right, now I have those calf raises. I'm gonna use my dumbbells for a little extra resistance coming back on my heels, up full extension. Woo, guys, 10, sorry, nine of those. Ah. Ooh, it's a burner. How, those, how does it feel to be in the socks, Sarah? Um, mostly so you say, like, kind of backwards. Kind of backwards. Yeah. I have some different sets of especially yoga socks. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay, nine of these guys. And then we have our eight military crunches. All right. Knees up, arms straight. Reach through. Keep those feet flat on the ground. If you're ahead of me, you're going into your seven goblet squats. Ah, always end on the down. There we go. Seven goblet squats. <laughs> nice concentration, Bob. Love it. Five, six, seven. Awesome. Going into those 45 degree angle. 
Six on each side. Awesome. Guys, I have my five rear delt flies. I want you to really stay in those lats with this, guys. Don't curve that back. Keep that back flat. Come directly out from your shoulders. Try to keep your elbows a little bit tighter. Yes. There, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. All right. <laughs> hey, try to do it harder. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm asking. All right, guys, my four overhead presses. Four, going into my three. Are you already done, Bob? <laughs> Bob. Because <laughs> you did 10 of everything to start. All right. Rotating. Rotating. <clears throat> <clears throat> So guys, if you're at home, and maybe you're used to doing those strict push-ups, we're doing a lot, all right? So if you need to, go to an elevated surface. Definitely do that, or grab your resistance band. That's fine, you can wrap your resistance band in a figure eight and use that as a way to bounce yourself back up again, all right? Going back into my high pulls. Five. Coming up onto those toes. Don't forget those toes. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Nice. All right, guys. My next thing is going to be my knee grab with reach. All right, I think in the beginning I demoed a knee grab, but we wanna actually do the knee grab with reach. So my legs are out straight, I come up. Again, you wanna make this harder, grab a dumbbell. And we're doing 10 of those. <laughs> 10. All right, nine calf raises. Get that nice rock back. Squeezy squeezies. Nine of these. Five. Take it slow, take it controlled. Eight. Nine. Awesome. Then, guys, I have my military crunch. Knees are up the whole time. Reaching through. Arms are straight. Reaching through. Eight of these. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, ah, eight, all right. I have my seven goblet squats. Guys, we have 18 seconds left. Three, four, five, six. Seven, nice. Guys, that was it. 
you did it. That was awesome. All right. So we're going to take a quickie break, and then we're going to get into our homework because we got to do our homework, our dessert, right? This is Sarah's favorite part. Sarah's always like, Bootsy, make sure you don't forget to do the homework. <laughs> Right here, I have to turn off the timer. All right. So, 10, 12 warrior days sometimes can be confusing. Hopefully, that was not too confusing. And we're going to go ahead and get into our homework. So, let's start off with our 10 knee grabs because. Uh, because <laughs> that's what Kyla wants. I can tell by your face. Kyla's like, yes, thank you. Dear Lord, thank you for the knee grabs. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, so Kyla, for the T-spine push-ups, what I'm going to have you do instead, because I want you to get all the way down, I'm going to have you do eccentric push-ups. So you're going to do a 1,001, 1, 1,002, 1,003 lower, and then you're just going to get back up again, okay? Yeah. <laughs> ten of these, guys. Ten of these. <laughs> That's the worst. That yeah, Kyla brought up a good point. It's like when we do these like arm burner exercises, like how hard it is to even take off your athletic bra. <laughs> guys, you're very lucky that you don't have to wear athletic bras because they suck. Nine. I'm, I'm guessing this is ten. All right. So let's go ahead into our, our deep squat with hamstring bias. So I want to get deep, 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 deep into this squat, all right? Grabbing my toes, rotating out, rotating out. Then I want you to lengthen those legs, feel this in the hamstring, and touch, tuck, tuck that chin to your chest. Come back down, rotate, rotate. Getting deep, getting low, come back up. Rotate, rotate, woo, rotate, rotate, I think I have one more, one, two, so guys, for these uh, T-spine uh, push-ups, if you're really, really fried from that circuit, I'm going to have you do eccentric push-ups instead. So what that's going to be is you're going to have your shoulders over your wrist, just like a normal push-up, and you're going to slowly lower. So 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and then you're just going to get back up again, all right? So go ahead and give me five of those, or give me five of your T-spine push-ups. Welcome <laughs> back. Welcome back. <sighs> nice, Bob. All right, guys, we still have time. We still have, we still have time. So let's do seven way hips. Oh, what? Our hips will love us for this. All right, what was that? No one's flipping me off yet, but they're really tiny, so it's a little hard to tell. All right, seven way hips, guys. I'm lining up my feet, knees, hips, shoulders. Bringing this arm in front of me to keep me from falling forward and raising and lowering that leg 10 times. Not too high. This is a small movement, small, delicate movement. Then center to forward. Again, just about 45 degrees in front of me. 10 of these. Get that foot dorsal flex, toe is pointed towards the ground. Sorry for this view. Yee. 
Got to work on those camera angles. Yikes. <laughs> Everybody figured out like the ideal spot to do your Zoom calls your house with the best lighting. I know, right? I know. I just had to switch it all up with the classes coming back, which I will take it fully forward, fully back. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, now circles forward. 10. I'm so glad you requested seven way hips, Bob. Good job. Feeling it, Sarah? Oh, no. You can kind of pound on it. Woo! Yay. <laughs> All right, 10 circles the other way, guys. And then 10 big bicycles for dessert. Wah! <laughs> Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! All right, switching it out to the other side. Other side. <laughs> I've killed Bob. This is this is bad. This is bad, guys. All right. Whoops. Sitting on my mic. All right. Raise and lowering that leg 10 times. Nine, 10. Forward to center, forward to center. Nine, 10. All right, center to back. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fully forward to fully back. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. 10, small circles forward. Bob's alive. I can hear the groans. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reverse. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, right? Exactly. So on uh, YouTube, when we post the video, it says, is this made for children? Is this not made for children? <laughs> so we usually hit, it's not made for children because it's, it's really not. But now with Bob's obscenities that he's just spewing, it is definitely not made for children. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you guys, we did it. All right, so moral of the story. Be that little mouse, be that young mouse that thinks outside of the box. Don't be that curmudgeonly old mouse that's like, who's gonna put the bill on the cat, huh? Anyway, keep an open mind, keep a challenge mindset. Don't be afraid to make suggestions, no matter how ridiculous, all right? And guys, we're so happy to be back, happy to have the warriors in the house. The energy is just lovely, even though they're flipping me off, but that's okay. I'll take it. I'll take it, all right? But guys, we're so happy to be here for you guys remotely at home, for the warriors in the dojo. We love you. We miss you. And bring forth the warrior within. Boom. Yeah. Woo! I forgot to do last set, best set, I think, through the whole time. I know, I know, I totally forgot. <laughs> so last set, best set. <laughs>